welcome back to the channel everyone. We are back with another week of Sparkman's YouTube Dually Tournament. Last week, if you saw the video, we didn't do so well. I mean, we did what we had to do in game two. Um, so basically, it was a win. We, we won one game, uh, you know, for our first time coming back into the tournament scene. So we're hoping to have a better second week. And obviously, I'm still going to go with Fables. I'm still going to keep running with it throughout the entire tournament. My only thing is, is I'm going to change some stuff up with the deck. Uh, probably each week to keep testing the waters with some stuff. So basically, I have the deck here. Uh, basically, the only changes from last week is I took out Fable Treason and a Desynchro to add in two Solemn Judgments. Uh, if we are going second, we do not have a good... Uh, strategy going second uh, in terms of like you know negates and stuff like that so basically if my opponent has their board set up uh, I have really no way to kind of counter anything so if we're going second um, I do feel like two solemn judge judgments may come in handy I'm not entirely sure obviously called by the grave is going to be big here to try to help I believe it helps uh, against Ash Blossoms and stuff, so we're, we'll see. Um, honestly, too, and then basically for the side deck, I kind of took out the extra Judgment and a... Uh, I believe it, yeah, I took out the extra Solemn Judgment and then obviously I cut Treason all together to add in two Ice Dragon's Prisons. Um, and then the uh, Desynchro is in the side just in case. Uh, Desynchro does come in handy in terms of any like card draws and stuff like that. But like I said, we'll probably do a big deck profile on this and explain all my card choices in a later video. Today we are facing off against Hotshot Frontier. Uh, I'll have all his information in, you know, if he has a video posted down below. And then this tournament wouldn't be possible without Sparkman and the sponsors with being Top Sleeve, Oracle, Shop, Astros World, and with Game Day Toys and Games. So without further ado, let's just jump right into this match. So we are ready with Hotshot Frontier. Uh, biggest thing is, is that I have to try to win Rock, Paper, Scissors in order to make sure that, you know, we get the full optimize, but we lost. So obviously we will be going second. Um, most likely. So, our hand right now is actually not too, too bad. Uh, the problem is, is that if he sets up his board, we'll most likely have to be playing through negates. Uh, so, we gotta see what our draw will be. Oh, shoot. We are actually... Okay. So, he actually elated for us to go first. I am going to try and use Makosia. So, yeah, let's see who we might discard. Actually, I probably should have used Nooch G first, actually. Um, so, I kind of want to use Ganasha first because I kind of want to make sure that I can get Cerebral on, on board. So, I kind of want to see, because he does have, it looks like, something in his hand. Um, for response, so right now this is my biggest worry because, like I said, Fable basically lose to hand traps. So I don't really I have yet to really kind of figure out any type of strategy for it. So um, let's set up and get. Let's get a uh, Falc out right now. So. Um, this way we can go into Kashano. So let's do Hauk. This way we can set up uh, uh, Appaloosa. Now obviously, if this gets negated, then it becomes a big problem, which I think he may, yeah, Imperm. So, Hauk gets negated. Um, that is okay though, because uh, I still have plays. Set out of the imperm column and let's see how to do it fabled and red um basically it's not to be good to draw two cards but he can negate it but if he sends a monster to the graveyard then 
um, we we basically get the monster on our side of the field. So he did. He does throw a monster. Obviously, I don't want. See, he can banish this. So let's put a giant rex onto the field, and basically from there, let's go into Appaloosa. Obviously, this is not the predicament that I kind of wanted to be in, um, but as long as he keeps a dinosaur away from him, um, this basically gets him his boss monster, so, or helps. Because if this gets banished, he can, if this can uh, special summon to the field, so I kind of don't want that, so. Which is why it's still on my side of the field, so. Ah, uh -huh, miscellaneous source. So I am going to negate this, but I, I think that wasn't the play though, because all it does is unaffected by, eh, I guess we'll see. We'll see if I made the wrong play there. Um, uh, I don't want this resolving, so obviously you can attack over it and <clears throat> I don't really have a play for that, so yeah, see miscellaneous can still activate. Yeah, let's actually make absolute sub zero. I may be misplaying here, but and fusion destiny. Ah, oh, DPE's coming. I should have known. Basically, I am top deck decking, which is not a great sign. And yeah, so nothing here. Um, so we are losing game one. Hopefully, this is not a 2 0. He's gonna just pop T Synchro, which is fine. So there is the ultimate Tyranno that I did not want to see. So, hopefully, our next game, game two, uh, I can come up with a better strategy. So, we lost game one. Um, obviously, this is not looking good. I had a feeling just by looking at what the um, what he played week one that I was going to be facing this deck. Now, he has probably a lot of uh, hand traps, which is not very good for us. So, Dark Ruler No More definitely has to come in here. Troll and Lockbird, for sure. Let's see, what are we taking out though? So, Danger, Nessie, Nochichi. Um, Cardio. See, that's kind of what the problem is. Actually, even match might help. See, banishing doesn't actually help him, I don't think. It, at least with his giant Rex. Um, I need two more. I guess. See, I don't want to take out a judgment, though. Um, I guess we'll take out a rescue cat. Let's just try one evenly match. I don't want to have this whole deck like spell, like you know, filled with spells. Because if I keep drawing into spell and traps, obviously it doesn't help. Um, you know, our combo pieces. So let's see. With us going first, promise. I, I think he likes us going first. So. Um, let's just set, set one, uh, see if I activate that, 
Let's activate Jackalope. Let's see if he can hit the Cerebro. Unless he's going to negate it. Seems like he may have an Imperm. Oh, hits Jackalope. Uh, so we did Suchinoko. Um, which actually may help here. Just summon Ricarzio. I don't want to. So, my biggest thing is I don't want to go into. Like, I'm going to go into Regan. As in the gate. Which stops our play. If only we had called by the grave. Starful. So this may be a quick game. This over after is gonna uh, add a monster uh, from his deck. To his hand. Um, which is miscellaneous source, which he'll discard uh, to have his dinosaurs not, you know, be unaffected. And then he'll probably banish it to special sum summon one from deck. Actually, he may wait on. Oh, yeah, he's doing it. So, as long as my pot of average does not owe oh, him a door. So he can destroy one monster, uh, dinosaur in his hand. Um, to add an evolution pill, which will get his ultimate conductor try to tie right up. And there goes pot of average. Oh, he did have the double evolution pill already. So again, this is where Fables definitely have a weakness to hand traps. So that is something I'm going to have to think about in week three. Um, just because this is, this is basically two weeks in a row where we've been, you know, damaged by hand traps. So. That just takes a thousand. And it's game. So, my goal was to at least win one game within the match. So, obviously, this wasn't, you know, our best showing for this week. So, we hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, week three, I'll come back even better. Um, look for a deck profile on this deck because I'll actually be posting one probably this uh, weekend as well um, after the, this deck is uh, after this duel is posted. So look for, out for that. I um, hope that you guys enjoyed. Obviously, this was a short uh, match as we got annihilated. So we're going to go back to the drawing board. Let's, you know, hope for a better week three. And then I shall see you guys in our next TCG video. See ya.